Oh, sorry. Okay. Sherry, is that you there? Hi, Maureen. Hi, Susan. I'm on my phone, so I can only see one at a time, but it looks all right. All right, good. <laughs> nice to see you. How was your vacation? Were you on it was vacation? good. Is that, that's where we went you to were. Florida for a few days. It was nice. Nice. Right, where do you go? Do you go somewhere different? Uh, we went to um, like the West Palm Beach area. My sister lives oh. there, and yeah. My brother lives in Port St. Lucie, so we went to see him too. Nice. I might have to shut my washing machine off unless it spins out before we start. <laughs> okay. I can't hear it, but you can't hear it? I, no, I'm actually at work, so I'm in the back room. Oh, here's Karen. Hi, Karen. It's like Florida today, isn't it? It's beautiful. Hey, Karen. Hey, everyone. Hey, Karen. Good evening. Hello, Hi, Sherry. Sherry. Hi, Sherry. I'm Susan. I don't know if my, I'm on my phone, so I'm not sure my name is there, but I'm Susan. It is. It's showing. Okay. Now I wish welcome. I could be meeting with you in person. In person. I really like I really that. I like that. Oh, um, I'm hoping I'm, I'm Karen has some. Somebody, has, somebody, terrible, somebody, terrible echo. Echo. Maybe somebody, Maybe has, somebody two has two different times. Transcript. Let's see. Transcript. 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 Do we, I don't think any, I don't see the captioning on here. I'm trying to find our. So is it just so me? It just me that, it's just me. It's, just me it's showing, showing at the bottom, bottom of my screen. screen. It says show captions. Oh. There we go. Mine just popped up finally. Okay. 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 English. Let's see if they work. Oops. I don't want. Okay. I think we're good. I don't know how to get rid of this. What is it, Susan? I don't know how to get rid of this. Oh, I'm only, I'm only, I'm on, my only phone. on my phone. You hear it, right? You hear it, right? <laughs> I do hear it. I do hear it. Just using my phone. Just using my phone. Hmm. Yeah. 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 Would you, would you, you don't have to
Karen, did you Karen, hear, did from, you hear anybody? from anybody? Um, just Joanne that she wasn't going to be able to come. Sherry, what is CSU? Oh, oh certified, certified Association Executive. Why am I having an echo? You both are echoing. Am I echoing too? No, you are. No, you are. Everybody, Something, everybody. Something's, not, something's right. not right. My speaker is directly, directly in my, in my, to my computer. To my computer. With earphones, with earphones. And, and this has never, this happened, never before. happened before. And you're not echoing to me. Okay. We, we, we are all, we are echoing, all echoing, to echoing to each other. Oh, that's weird. Karen, you're, Karen, not, you're echoing. not echoing. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Did you read the caption? <laughs> no. It didn't, it say, didn't say you're not you're not echoing. It, it said you're not ugly. You're not ugly. Oh, thanks, Susan. <laughs> <laughs> but all the rest, of, all us the rest of us. Um, Christina did just send me an email, so I think she and she didn't say she wasn't coming, so she should be here momentarily. Okay. Um, and I did well, see Mr. Well, Ellis. Well. There she is. And I saw Mr. Well, Ellis this week, and he told me he'd hear me later this week. So I think that Liz is planning on attending. Okay. Okay. And Flo. And Flo. I have not heard from Flo. Hi, Christina. Hi, Christina. I. I. Oh, she's at oh, the Christina, uh, could you talk? Could you talk? I, I'm hearing. I'm hearing it as well. Well, so we could either all log off, I guess, and try logging. But I don't know what the solution is to a Zoom echo when we all have just one on. Yeah, usually yeah, it's because someone, someone has two has devices, devices on. on but... Well, how annoying is it to everyone? Oh, there we go. Oh, Karen, mute it. Karen, mute it. Karen, muted, and it stopped. There you go. Okay. okay. Oh, Karen, 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 not as bad as before, though. Can you? Am I echoing to all of you? Okay. No. The only problem with it is sometimes makes it hard to understand what some of this just says. Yeah. But Karen, it seems to be something. In, if you come back on, Karen, come on my back, back on if you don't mind. I can just stay muted except when I'm talking. If it's my, if it's mine that's causing an echo. I think so. Okay. <clears throat> okay, well, I think it's 634. We don't have a quorum yet, but maybe we do. One, two, three, four. Well, let's call, let's go to order anyway, all right? Can we do that? And you have a quorum. I think you're good. Okay. Okay. Um, no public, nobody from the public is here at this point. So Sherry, we're delighted to have you here, even with our technical problems. And <laughs> thank you for joining. Um, glad to, that you're on board. So just because you asked, you mentioned it a few minutes ago, I'm gonna ask Karen if she has got, could we have our next meeting before the summer break in person? No. no. Oh. oh. The town is not allowing it because the They've had such a good reaction to the meetings being public through Zoom for the open meeting laws. I know when I'm on the HRC and our last meeting, we had about 10 people from the public. Oh, okay. So it's become very popular. And there's other meetings we have none, but um, yes, I would love to be able to meet everybody in person so we can speak more personally to each other, but we're being recorded, so it's out of the business. 
All right. Well, thank you for that. Maybe we, if it's not a public meeting, can we, uh, well, we can figure that out a little bit later. Um, thank you. Thank, thank you. you for that. Thank you for that. I, I actually just got advice about that because I'm planning for um, Asian Pacific Islander commemoration in May. And I can share with you the clarification I got from town council and town manager. So I'll write myself a note and I'll send it to you and you can add it to the material that goes out to everybody. Good, thank you. Okay, did um, everyone get the minutes from March? I mean, yeah, from March 8th, have a chance to look them over. I'll, I'll, I'll keep minutes for the moment. I mean, I'll, I'll, I don't I'll think do you can, you, I don't think you can vote on the minutes. We don't have enough people? No. It's just uh, you and Christine. We need Flo and Elizabeth or Liz. Okay. Well, Joanne was here last month. That's the only thing I'm going to say right now. So I would put her in attendance. But I know we're not voting on them yet. So. Oh, Joanne was there last month? Yeah, she was. Oh, so that's a um, mistake in the minutes yeah i think it's just an oversight in the yeah well that can be added before you vote on them before we okay. vote you know vote on them next month add joanne oh there's flo yeah hey flo hi there sorry i uh i don't know for one link wasn't working anyway sorry about that do you know sherry i do not hi sherry welcome this is Flo's last meeting and your first meeting. So. <laughs> Welcome. You'll have a barrel of laughs. <laughs> Thank you. And I'm sorry that I missed last meeting, that I was running International Women's Day. That was my event. So I had to be that's there oh, for that. Okay. That's, that's an important event. So, Okay, Flo, I, I, I don't know how this works since this is your last meeting. Do you do the minutes or should I? Um, do I? Should I? I'll, I'll, I can I'll, do I'll, the I'll minutes. Go. Okay. Um, um, I mean, I mean, yeah, I probably shouldn't do them. Yeah, I know. I could um, done at 7.30 yeah. tonight. You're done. <laughs> I'm all wrapped up. <laughs> Karen, was that you that said you would do them? Thank you. Okay. Can we vote now, Maureen? Um, I, there's three of you. I don't see why no. I mean, what's a oh, quorum? We just talked about this before. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six yeah. of us. But you're saying you can't vote on the minutes because you weren't here. I, were, I wasn't here. Yep. Sherry wasn't here. Right. I know that. The so. three of you can. Is that enough of a quorum? I don't know. Yeah. I never know because of our board be numbers change, you know? 50%. Well, I'm I'm gonna say um, let's go for it. It'd be a parliamentary <laughs> error, but let's go for it. I agree. All right. So is there anything else about the minutes besides adding Joanne to the attendance list? Is that you, anybody, comment, questions? All right, then I have a motion to accept the minutes. Yep. Christina, thank you. I'll second that. Flo second it. All in favor, everybody. Thank you. All right, minutes of March are accepted and put into the record. And the financial report came this morning. I think it was this morning. So yes, I sent the report out with our numbers for participants and the financial report. And we are in good shape. We're on track with our spending. I am going to change. At, at, I'm sorry, go ahead. Look at that number. Look at that for number March, for March, though. Though. Astounding. Astounding. Yeah, we had a lot going on in March. Um, I think the party helped bring our numbers up because that was we had 70 people that came to the St. Patrick's party. And we are going to do so one much. slight one thing with the for the budget portion for the summer because our Friday ridership is technically is usually lower than the other days. I am going to take a driver off on Fridays for June, July, and August. We'll put bring one on as needed. 
Yeah, but in June, that will help keep me on track with the driver's budget because they have been okay. budgeted for less hours than we're driving now. So it'll help keep it keep me within the driver's salary budget. And it, will, it more reflects what happens here in the summer because it is slower on Fridays. So everybody seems to take off to do something exciting or to just not come out. So less ridership. So we're not going to have a driver in for that. That'll start That'll in June. Start June. Yeah, June, July, and August. Okay. okay. Well, we are doing some more field trips in our small bus over the summer too. So that allows me to bring drivers in to help with the field trip. So some days having two drivers. And then in July, we actually go into the new fiscal year where we were approved for more driver hours. So that's that's good news. That'd be less of a concern for next that's year. Great. That's great. It's um, great. Yeah, so the numbers were great in March and the programs and classes have been full. We've made an adjustment that you'll notice in the main newsletter, our three aging backwards classes. We're no longer requiring prior registration. So people can just go back to how it was pre-COVID and just come to the class when they want to come. Nice. Yeah, we're doing the same with the two physical therapist classes, Strong and Steady and Functional Fitness. Great, great. We tracked it over time and spent a lot of time and energy looking at the numbers. And with those classes, you could have 45 people on the registration registration list and typically have maybe 20, 22 who come. So they're yeah, yeah. regular yeah. attendees. So that's a better offering for, I think, the residents to know they can just come and go when they want to to those classes. And there's lower risk of the class being too full because they don't take up a lot of space like Zumba does. So you can pack... 30 or 40 in the room if you need to. Great. So I think Great. some residents will be happy to see that in the next newsletter. Uh, we're doing the same thing with line dancing and chair yoga. They, they're all gonna go back to pre-COVID days with no registration oh, good. required. Oh, good. Oh, good. Uh, Zumba and Alice's classes are staying registration required because we don't want 50 people in there for Zumba. Sure, sure. Today was the last day for AARP taxes. Well, well, I guess before we, before could, we, could I just could say, I just something, say about something about the classes, about the classes before, we yes. move? before we move? Um, um, I brought this I brought up this a couple, couple months ago, months but I'm going to bring it up bring again. It up again. And that and is that the title of that Aging Backwards class. class. Um, I'd, um, like, I'd to like to have, have a reconsideration of that title for reasons that I've talked about before. And that has to do with... What, what's wrong what, with aging forward, forward with vitality? With vitality. I mean, you know, I mean, it's, you know, it's just, it's, 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 it, 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 to it, me, to it's me, pejorative about aging. That's it, which I brought up in the past and I know I, I'm, any, anyway, I would, whenever I could be reconsidered, it suggests to me that there's something wrong with aging forward. And that wouldn't be a good title for a class, but aging with vitality, aging with vigor, aging with whatever. But backwards, like somehow suggests it's better to be younger than older. So I just bring that up again. Karen, it's who, actually part of a program though. It's part of an aging backwards program that Jill is an instructor of. It's like a whole, it's a whole movement. Um, maybe maybe so she could, she could come. come. Is anybody is else anybody hearing, else my, hearing echo? my echo? Yeah, Karen has to shut her mic off when we talk. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, all right, because Susan was echoing and now I'm echoing. Anyway, maybe uh, the person who does the class could come and, and have a discussion with the group um, to explain. I, I understand it's a like an established thing that's done. It's not just here, but it might be good to know sort of the background on how it was named. I don't know, just a thought. Yeah, yeah. I can send people the link to the book that she uses, but I can tell you it's, it's a very popular class. And after you had expressed concern, Susan, I did talk to some of our participants doing an unofficial poll. And many people feel it's actually an empowering name. Like it's like I'm taking charge and I'm doing this. And they kind of all joke around and have fun about it. So I personally don't feel the same way. I don't think that it's ageist. I, that's just my personal opinion. But I did do a little informal poll talking to people just think. To okay, see what well, they thank thought you for doing, doing that. <laughs> I can send the link though for the book that they um, that that she bases it on. She when she left today, she was actually excited sharing that some of the participants had said they had gone out and got the book, and they were all they were kind of all behind it. There's I also have a PBS no program the... of the same name. I'm sorry, go ahead. There's a, a program on PBS of the same name. It must be the same program. I know, I know there is. I have absolutely no issues with the the purpose or the you know, the activity or the content or anything. It's the title that I 
have trouble with it, but um, I, I've, I've seen the PBS one too. So I'm thank you for doing that, Karen. I'm, um, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, you can go on now, please. To the, you were starting to talk about um, other things besides the programs. Oh, well, I realize because I tend to get chatty and roll things into each other because my director's port is really, I think they're both on the sheet I send out. So should we vote on the financial? It's separated though on the agenda. Okay. So I think we yeah. have to approve yeah. the budget first and then I can go into the rest of it. I, I tend to lump them all together. I have a question have a about question the about Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry, I'm making you an echo. <laughs> um, with the increase in program and classes, um, I did notice that the March section is not filled out. So you could you can do the math between expenses to date. And if you'd like, I'd be happy to set up your spreadsheet for you. So it just would automatically calculate in the March column. But did you find that your expenses went up? Did they not go up? I mean, I think it's, I want to make sure you have enough funding to um, support all the extra fun things that are happening. Oh, thank you. I didn't even notice that, but yeah, we do. It's a lot. Um, we've maximized some of the classes more. So we did, before we decided to let aging backwards just be open to everybody, there was a lot of hours spent going through lists, calling people, telling them they could come. So we really went from having 15 people come into the class to getting more like 25 people coming to the class. So it was just a lot of work to bring more participants into each of the different offerings we have. And then the St. Patrick's party was um, nicely funded by Brightview, they paid for our food. So that brought 70 people in. So, so, so definitely more numbers, but a lot of it's been at the same, at, at the same program we've had, we're just allowing more people to access it. But thank you, because I didn't even notice that about the spreadsheet and Excel is not my um, strong suit at all. I fumble with Excel more than I should. I'd be happy, I'd to, be help. happy to help. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Christina. It's great. All right. Um, is that a motion, Christina, also to accept the financial report? Motion to accept. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Good. Financial report is accepted. Okay, so yeah, so we, we talked about a lot of the classes. So it was AARP's last day today for taxes. That was another huge successful year. We were able to see, uh, let's see, we had three um, tax preparers and they did four appointments each. So every week for the past eight weeks or so, we've been doing 12 tax appointments a day. Nice. So that's been a great addition. We have two more dates with Leo. The next one is on April 19th. And then they will wrap it up on May 5th. So we've gotten a lot of success with bringing people who have never come in before for fuel assistance in for fuel assistance with either Leo or the Good Neighbor Fund. And then the town supplement, I think, also attracted a lot of people to coming in. Um, transportation, I already told you, has been, has been increased. It's primarily Monday through Thursday. So dropping the Fridays for the summer, I don't think will be a negative impact. We'll of course watch and if somebody needs to go to something the medical that they can't get there otherwise, we could, one of us could take them that are, Marianne or, and I are here on Fridays. So one of us could take them if we needed to do that. Um, and we're excited to bring on, find a third driver to bring in for July once we have more hours approved so that we can do, Go back to how we used to be where we have somebody dedicated to medicals and somebody dedicated to local errands and shopping runs and things like that. So we're looking forward to that for the either summer or the fall. The gym has been going steady. That's been really, we're seeing a few more people coming in, but that stands pretty strong with people visiting. We are going to do a program in May with um, Katie from uh, the, our physical therapist. She is going to do a walk fit program and we're going to utilize the new uh, fit court over at Molten Playground. Oh, wow. so that's going to oh, wow. be an eight week program for people to sign up for. It'll be $40 and they'll go with one of the physical therapists and do their workouts there. We're going to be the backup location in case um, inclement weather. That's so we are excited that's for that. And the other big thing is on May 1st, the senior tax work off program applications will be released. So we were able to match 16 last year, which is a big increase over the prior year. So we were excited about that and we can max out at 20. So I'm hoping to fill all 20 spots this year. 
Excellent. 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 So I have Excellent. to reach out to the department heads to get a few more to take some people, but um, so hopefully we get to get all the same department heads and then maybe add a couple more and then I can take a couple on here as well to help out at the see we had three different tax work off people here. Include well then our, and our nurses as well. And thank you to Flo and her retirement from the COA board. She is volunteering with us at the senior center as our second nurse to man our blood pressure clinics. Oh, so you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Except, Except I completely, I completely screwed, up screwed up the schedule, up the schedule and didn't, and show, didn't up show up yesterday. I know you may be a nurse, Flo. I had to take blood pressures. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, did, no you really? did you really? I did. But only two, so it was okay. <laughs> Oh, geez. Oh, geez. I don't know what, I, don't know what I, had I had to switch because, switch because I'm not here, not next, here week, next week. It, it, it might, I totally, I'm embarrassed. It's all good. I, I serve as a backup. I really when, <laughs> when you guys can't come, I serve as a backup. So it was all good. But that's, that's right, the next step for the report. You. We have, um, and I think I sent everybody the email about the meet the candidates in case anyone was interested in coming on Friday morning. They'll be here from 8.30 to 9.30. Good. I hope there's good. a good, I hope there's a good bunch, bunch for them. them. I hope so. And I will send out the newsletter. We the newsletter's finished for May. We're waiting for the waiting for the paper copy to get mailed before we put it on the website. But I will send it to this group ahead of that so that you can see what we have going on in May. Wow, that's wow, great. That's great. Only the twelfth. Yeah, it's tricky to get it mailed out with the new because the mail now goes to Woburn. It doesn't get sorted in Wakefield, so it's going to take a couple extra days to get there. So we really need to get it out so that our May programming can get out there because May is Older Americans Month. So we tried to add some more programming or different things going on. We um, to have all different kinds of offerings for different different people. Oh, and we do have Delvina. If anybody wants to come to Delvina, the 40 wax, Lizzie Borden and the 40 wax is on April 24th. If you want to come see it. Sherry. Question. Which candidates are going to be there on Friday morning? So right now who I've heard from that they can come. I just have to pull my list out. So Unfortunately, Maureen can't come. She had a different commitment that day, but she's sending some people for her. Betsy's coming. Uh, Kevin Piscado. I, I might be butchering names. I apologize. Ed Dombrowski will be there. Peter Vitale, Christopher um, Carino, Peter Davis, and Alexandra McCarowitz all replied that they were coming. And then I hadn't heard, some of them I didn't hear from and a couple I did hear from that they weren't able to come. Uh, Dave Ladon for the Board of Assessors, he's uncontested and he was he works in Boston, so he unfortunately wasn't able to come. But he's uncontested, so. You vote for him or you don't? Okay. Good, thank you. Well, a lot going on, Karen. A lot, of, a lot of fun and good times and healthy things and engaging different parts of the psyche. So congratulations to you and everyone there for vibrance, vibrance in the senior center. Thank you. We started our first Spanish lesson today. Started what? Started what? The first Spanish lesson today. What kind of lesson? What kind of lesson? Spanish. Oh, Spanish. Oh, beginner Spanish. Spanish. With Senora, Senora Chandler. He's taking it. She's great. Is that open to anyone? I, I somehow missed that. Is it still? Um, yeah, there's, there's still a couple of spots left if you'd like to join. It's an eight week program. So it was just the first lesson today. So you wouldn't be very far behind. What, it's what, what time? It's At Wednesday. Two o'clock. Mm -hmm. They were very flexible today because taxes went late, so I had to move them all around. So they got my gold star for the day of being very flexible and understanding. Is there a charge for this? No, it's free. Is it? Is it? Yeah, that's great. Uh, Irene volunteer is she volunteered to do the classes, so we didn't charge for people. And then if she does get donations, she gives them back to the center. Yeah. She's a retired, retired high school language teacher. 
very nice. I would love to do it. I can't. I, I, I'm going to be done working, but I have a class, another class at the exact same time. Anyway, maybe next oh, round. Shoot. She does it again. Yeah. Um, okay, age friendly update is um, the how, do you did you get any feedback on the parking spaces at the um, election, Karen? Just curious. I did not get any feedback, so I don't. I'm assuming people use them, but I didn't get any excitement or displeasure. Or so I don't okay, know. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no news is good news, I guess. Yeah, I guess yeah. so. Um, all right, so no, uh, no, I mean, there's some updates in woven in your report of what's going on, very definitely some things that are responding and on target with the, have you seen it, Sherry? Has anyone, do you have the age-friendly plan? Okay, we'll get that to you, all right? You can take a look at it. And then Christina and Karen did a great job sort of distilling it into a, um, what do you call it? A, an Excel spreadsheet, and um, which makes it very accessible and easier to track. Hi, Liz. Welcome. Hi. So, so you're just in time, Liz, because you're next on the agenda. Um, you and Flo are our, are our stars of the day, of stars of the evening, as departing board members. And, um, you know, I haven't, you're longer than I am. So I feel a little, I feel, who am I to thank you, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you're entirely welcome. It was my pleasure. <laughs> yeah, and thank you for your comments last month to both of you on your thoughts. And before you came on, Liz, we learned that Flo is gonna stay on and do some volunteer work as a blood pressure taker. Um, yes. Yeah, she, she she takes my husband's blood pressure every other week. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, that's a connection. <laughs> what time? There, you, you said it. I didn't have to violate HIPAA. <laughs> <laughs> so we will miss you. We will definitely miss you and hope that this isn't, you know, you're both active in the town, I know. So it's not the end of your service by any means, but your your participation and your words and your actions and your con contributions to this group have been just you know huge over the years and i know that from personal experience but also from you know here uh, stories anecdotes from judy before karen etc so okay. i don't know if you want to say something karen no no i think i said everything i had to say last meeting that it's been a learning experience for me. Um, and I've learned so much from everybody else in the room. Oh, look at this. We're going to see something. Guess so. What? These might be baby pictures coming up. Maybe Karen has your baby pictures. <laughs> Oh, what a sight that will be. <laughs> Uh-oh. So what time did the meeting start? I thought it was 7. 6.30. It said 7 on the... Oh, it nice, did. Karen. 7 on the invite. Oh, uh, that's so nice, oh, Karen. Did. It said 7 on the invite. Oh, Oh, this thank you very much. That's lovely. Thank you. <laughs> so pretty. Thank you very much. I know. Thank you. It's been a pleasure and a great experience. Well, do you? I proud? have them printed well, to bring it to you. Oops. Oops. <laughs> I have them printed. I want to thank you both as well. It's been, you made my transition to this job from a veteran's job a much smoother one. The board has been tremendously helpful for me and it's been, it's been wonderful working with you. So I'm very thankful for you. And we're hoping this summer when we do our barbecue, maybe we can make it on the time when the board can come so we can do a formal in-person goodbye that doesn't break open meeting rules. <laughs> 
that, that would be fun. That, that would be fun. I'll probably be helping serve. I'll probably be. We, we might not let you at that one because you'll be a guest of honor. I haven't never been that. Oh, well, it's about time. <laughs> Sounds great. Thank you. Sounds wonderful. Okay. Well, thank I you. I wish you all the best of luck and uh, keep moving forward, aging forward. <laughs> I like that saying. <laughs> well, we're so I um moving on to the next item. I did I don't know, Karen, if you were gonna say anything, but I, I went um back to um I think it was Maureen that or uh, somebody, I don't know who sent it out, not Maureen Hickey, but somebody sent out the volunteer opportunities available. Sherry, I guess, Sherry told me when she sent out the Council on Aging. Um is that what you wanted to go over, Karen? What did you want to, was there anything specific there and you wanted to do goals and objectives yeah, of the board? Goals and objectives of the board? Maybe we should defer because Joanne asked to add that and she's not here. Okay, all right, Okay. We'll defer that. But yeah, all right. And um, okay, thank you. And I don't know how we appoint a new secretary. I have no idea. So I'm not a very well prepared chair, I guess, but maybe someone Flo, how did you volunteer. Get your job? How did you get your job, Flo? She she raised raised I think, hand. I, yeah, I think I just put my hand up. You know, I think it just <laughs> okay. came up. And I, I don't I don't know that there are like, you know, secretary. I don't think there are technically officers. So I was just I considered myself the note taker. <laughs> the one who put her hand up, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. That's Do we have a involved. reorganization meeting like once a year, like a lot of boards do? What's in the bylaws? Do we have bylaws? That would be novel. <laughs> I'm That's sure the they're doing. That's the way we do it at the Housing Authority. We have bylaws we once a year. We have an annual meeting and we reorganize. Yeah. Who wrote your bylaws, Maureen? Do you know? Uh, we probably got them from the state. They're they're pretty short, actually. I don't I don't know like. Because this is a town committee, you know, it might yeah. follow the town's bylaws. You might have your own. Oh, I don't right. know. Hmm. The HRC developed bylaws upon their inception. So they wrote their own. So they wrote their own. And uh -huh. they are reviewed, uh -huh. each, year. Are reviewed each year. And we do have bylaws. I can send them out. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Well, why don't we defer that well, to, the defer next that to the next month after if we could read after the bylaws? If we could read the bylaws. Wow, did, did we even know? Did we even know we had did bylaws? Did we even know we had bylaws? Of course we did, Flo. Of course we did, Flo. <laughs> <laughs> got it. Gotcha. I got it. Gotcha. I don't remember that. I don't be remember that. Bylaws. Bylaws. All right. Well, it, it was right. well, probably you've been on the board for so long. Probably, probably forgot. Long, so probably forgot. <laughs> but thank you for that but extra thank you duty for as that well. Extra all these, duty as well. All these, all these months, years. months and years. I had to send the bylaws to everybody. Thank you. Thank the, you. The last time they were revised was in 2017. So we could add them to the agenda for the next meeting just to yeah, take a please, look at them. Yeah, let's do that. It's a good idea to look at them every once in a while. Like um, Sherry said, they look at them annually, right? Yeah. And we vote on officers every year as well. Annually, right? Yes. Yeah. So we'll see what they say. <laughs> Sherry, how long have you been with the HRC? HRC, yeah. I'm in the first year of my second term. My first term was uh, unexpired, so it was two years, so I'm three years now, starting my fourth year. Excellent. Well, I look forward to working with you on this group because, you know, you can probably tell from my earlier comments, I am an aging advocate, elderly advocate, like yes. we all are. Of course, we yes. all are. But in terms of inclusion, you know, in all aspects of, we all are. We all are. But I, I kind of shared your feelings about 
the title of the program. Um, but I'd never heard anyone else express that before. Yeah. I understand, you know, it's it's just ubiquitous that we as well, I'm I'm gonna not go on my soapbox, but I think it's you know, it's very common that we we want to look younger, think younger, be younger. And I think that does a disservice to the idea of aging. Mm -hmm. Because we all age, we all age if we're lucky. So the younger is not bad necessarily, but the way we use age as a barometer of goodness, I think sometimes it's really positions older people in a negative space. So I'm sorry, Karen. I'm sorry. Karen, I'm sorry. No, that's okay. I'll ask Jill for her input. I mean it's it's I'm not gonna ask her to change the name of the class because it's <laughs> Yeah, no, with no, the no, whole I foundations yeah, no, of it, no, but I, I, I will definitely ask her for her to give us more, to give us more of a write up of why it's called aging backwards and what the movement is, and so she could give us more as the, as the expert in this area because I'm far from the expert in the class or the book. I haven't read the book, um, but I would love to have her give us a little write up of or tell me a little bit more about, about the move about the class itself and why she thinks it's such a great class. It's it's really it's done wonders. She has people who. I mean, medically wise, some of the benefits of this program are are just, they're unbelievable. And yeah. we can see it in people who come yeah. in, their flexibility, their core strength, their movement, their overall health level. So it really does tremendous things for people. Um, but I would I will definitely ask her to write or share with me a little bit more so I can share it with the board at the next meeting, if she can. Yeah, come. but please, please, yeah. please, please. I don't, I'm not at all personally or um, looking to, Put her on any kind of defensive. I, I totally celebrate the purpose and the, you know the activity and what you're saying, the evidence-based value. It's I it, I don't have no issues with that at all. It's the title. Maybe what it needs is a subtitle that just yeah. brings it to a more positive tone. Yeah. And you know that's the program, but we could add a, a subtitle that we use locally. Or maybe a little, I mean, you know, maybe she, maybe she'd be willing to write a little article for the newsletter too, that, or I'd write it and I could interview her if you, if that would be all right. Be short, you know, three or four paragraphs about the value of the program and without focused on the name. Cause it seemed like you're saying so many people go and value and, you know, put some things. So, I'm just looking at the, I Googled the what is it? Oh, aging backwards because yeah. I hadn't heard of the series, but it is, it's more, I mean, it's the science of aging. Yeah. With, so it seems like, and that's not going to change. It's our attitudes and our approach and a lot of other things, but it's the science of aging that the program is, is trying to um, do some reverse on, on people's bodies and, in terms of flexibility and improving your connect connective tissue and your muscles. So I don't know if that's, I mean, I get it that this is relating more related to the science of turning the clock back, not um, an right. in aging perspective. Um, but anyway, that's just my two cents. Thank, yeah, thank you, Flo, for looking that up. Karen, can I just ask a quick question? Um, I, I do subscribe to now the state COA sort of like newsletters. It looks like there's an annual meeting. Is it in May or June? Is that something that you participate in or other towns participate in? I think it's in Western Mass. I think it's in Western Mass. I will have to see. I know the next one we have is on the you know what I'm thinking of the MTOA is in October. So I do need to look because if it's a Zoom option, I would definitely attend it. Okay. Is it through the, okay. um, it, was yeah. it the national one you said or the Massachusetts? Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Okay. Thank you. I'll make sure I have that down. It looked good. It looked good. Well, right after you started, right? Uh, when When is your year? When was your year, Karen? When is your year? 
um, May 9th, I think I started, or May 12th. I think May 12th I started. I finished in Melrose May 9th. Yeah. Didn't you go to I went to the MCOA conference in October. Oh, in October. Oh, in October. Mm -hmm. And they have an annual one. This year it's in Danvers. That's nice. It's local. Okay. Um, so we're, we're tabling, not tabling, but we're moving forward to the goals and objectives on the May agenda. We're going to look at the bylaws and hopefully somebody will want to, if our bylaws allow it, we may um, have a nominated sec uh, a, a new secretary step forward. We could also maybe rotate the, the responsibility. I've been involved in groups where we do that as well. So we've got to figure that out though. So is there anything else that um, anyone needs to bring up or wants to bring up, even though it's not on the agenda? Is that all right, Karen? Not really. Maureen's <laughs> shaking her head. So never mind. If you have anything to say, keep it to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> well, See, this would be different if we were meeting in person, then we could adjourn and then we could bring the talk a little bit. That's true. That's true. We're not supposed to do that either, but we could. Yeah, that's a chit chat. We miss that chit chat, you know, that social chit chat of meeting in person. Yeah. Come and yeah, chit chat with the candidates. Yeah. I was on the HRC for almost two years before I had a chance to have a personal conversation with anybody. Different. And then, and then my husband had to come and get me because he couldn't understand why I hadn't come home yet. <laughs> we were just like pent up. Everyone wanted to get to know each other. But if it's we're not discussing strategy and we're not discussing um, the business of the Council on Aging, we can be together. We can sit down and have coffee together or drink. Yep. I think we just have to be careful. That's all. Yeah. The state ethics is the appearance of also. Yeah. So it's <laughs> it can be yeah. completely innocent, but if it doesn't look innocent to someone else, that's when you can get into trouble. Yeah, huh. I don't uh, Susan, I don't think in the whole time that you've been on the board, we've met face to face. Yes, we have. Yes, I, we, I, yeah, you know, we have. Did we? Oh, yeah. okay. Before the pandemic, I went to before Stout the pandemic. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I like those. I mean, that was fun to do that. Yeah. Oh well, someday. Someday. We'll have to figure out technology to do like both at the same time. I think the town's probably going to do that, you know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I have a personal. That's an eventual well, goal to offer budget. hybrid. Yeah. Yeah. For the town. All right. Yeah. Well, um, along those I have lines a question about the timing. I have a question. I think we'll talk about a question about the timing of the meeting. Um, most of my meetings start at seven. This is early, six thirty, but smack in the middle of the dinner hour. Um, does it usually start at six thirty or seven? Oh, we've been six thirty. Is there a reason why it's so early? I mean, maybe because Karen works a long day there, and I think went that to go might home. have something to do with it. Yeah, I don't know. Karen, do you have any idea? What? Well, the meeting was before my time. Yeah, Susan, do you have yeah. any idea why it's six thirty? No, it goes back. I don't know. I like six thirty, but it it wasn't me who made it that. I inherited the meeting at six thirty. What time is your meeting, Maureen? You meet at four. <laughs> oh, you meet at four. <laughs> yeah, we meet really early, um, but it it, it is. Um, Difficult if we have someone that has a full time job. Clearly, you know we have run into that. But most of the people on my board are retired, so it's not been a big issue. But um, and of sure, course, yes. I like that because yeah. it's at the end of my work day. Right, of course. Yeah, I just recently retired, the end of twenty twenty two. But which means instead of eating dinner at eight thirty at night, we're eating dinner at six thirty at night. But 
I guess we're going to be doing the early bird special. So six thirty is okay with you, Jerry? Well, it's it's difficult for us. Oh, it is because difficult. my husband works. So, but I can I can do it. I'll just leave food for him to warm up. That's all. Uh, although, like I said, I I would prefer seven if that was a preference for everyone else. Otherwise, I'll make it work. You know, I have enjoyed the six thirty meeting as opposed to when we met in person and we met at seven. Oh, was that at seven when we met in person? I think it was. And not when I've not since I've been on, but you know what? Let's see what it says in the bylaws because that's yeah, probably yeah. something that is in the bylaws. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, it remember it came up because it had to be changed on the town website, Susan. Within the past year, I know this came up because it. I think the town website said we meet on the first. Wednesday, when in fact, it still we says that. Set, I don't know. It still oh, says that. Oh, never mind that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if the Zoom schedule, man, because WCATA, I mean, I wonder if they had to do, I don't know. We did change it to 6 30 because of their schedule, perhaps. I don't know. Yeah. Well, These we'll find out what the bylaws say and then, you know, if, if, um, it doesn't seem um, to be in the bylaws. No. No. Yeah, something like that would not yeah, normally, like be that would normally be in bylaws. And um, and I don't see where WCIT schedule might be affected by our meetings. Because this is the town zoom. This is the town zoom. Oh, this is town zoom. Okay. Oh, this yeah. is town zoom. Okay. Yes. And yes. Sherry Dalton. And Sherry Dalton agrees with that. Okay. Okay. So the HRC meeting. So the that? HRC meeting. When is that? It's seven p.m. It's seven p.m. Christina, do you have any? Christina, preference? do you have any preference? Because you're still working. Because you're still working. Yeah, I would. My vote yeah, is. I would, early, my vote is earlier the better. Earlier the better. That's my yeah. vote. Earlier the better. My vote. Earlier the better. Okay. Well, let's. Leave it as it is for now, and you know, Sherry, if it gets too, I don't know, I, I don't know what to say about it, but we'll leave it at six thirty. Like I said, it's a minor inconvenience. I, can wait a I understand. Yeah. Okay. Is there anyone who would like to move to adjourn? So moved. Maureen would like to. <laughs> Maybe Liz, would you like to make your final second of the? I'll second I'll second it. Okay. I'm good at that. <laughs> <laughs> All in favor. Aye. 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 All right, Sherry, welcome aboard. Liz and Flo, mm -hmm. we're going to miss you. Yes, Thank I you. will miss you all. Sherry, good to meet you. Thank you. And I hope I do see you and meet you at, at the center during some yeah. of the wonderful Come programs get your that you have. For sure, take it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Meet you at the movies <laughs> on a Monday or something. <laughs> Okay. Good night, Good everyone. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.